This lecture, The October Crisis of 1970, highlights the kidnappings of James Cross and Pierre Laporte by the FLQ. The Transformation of Quebec The Quiet Revolution continued to gain more momentum as the 1970s approached. Quebec had changed significantly during the 1960s, and more change was still to come. A small minority of Quebecers felt separatism could only be accomplished through violence. The October Crisis of 1970 The tension between Canada and Quebec reached a crisis in October of 1970. The FLQ, the Front of Liberation du Quebec, resorted to terrorism in an effort to bring Quebec closer to independence. This group also embraced the ideology of communism. The crisis begins October 5. Two men arrived at the Montreal home of British Trade Commissioner James Cross. He was a representative from Britain. They held a present and once welcomed into his home, they pulled a gun out of the box and kidnapped him. The kidnappers identified as members of the FLQ. They demanded the release of political prisoners, the publication of the FLQ manifesto, their statement of beliefs, transportation to Cuba or Algeria, and $500,000 in gold bars. October 8. The Canadian government refused the demands of the FLQ, but the FLQ manifesto, their statement of beliefs, was read on CBC radio. October 10. Four armed men arrived at the Montreal home of Pierre Laporte, the Quebec Labour Minister and the number two man in Quebec. He had been throwing a football with his nephew on the front lawn when the kidnappers took him away. The men were a part of the second cell of the FLQ. Important government officials were relocated and protected by armed guards. October 12. Federal troops took up positions in Ottawa to protect government officials and buildings. Canadians were not accustomed to seeing military personnel in their cities during peacetime. October 16. At the request of the Quebec government, Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau enacted the War Measures Act. This took away the civil rights of Canadians. For example, curfews could now be imposed. It also allowed police to hold suspects without charge for 21 days and 90 days without trial. In the end, 464 people were arrested. Few were actually charged. October 18. The body of Pierre Laporte was sadly found in the trunk of a car in Montreal at the St. Hubert Airport. The crisis had developed far beyond what people had initially expected. December 4. Police surrounded a home in Montreal where James Cross had been held for 59 days. Police negotiated with the kidnappers and an agreement was reached. Cross was released at the Expo 67 site and the kidnappers were flown to Cuba. December 28. The FLQ members accused of kidnapping Pierre Laporte were captured just outside of Montreal. The crisis was finally over. In the picture below is Paul Rose, one of the key leaders of the FLQ, being arrested and holding up the solidarity fist. Effects of the October Crisis Number one, alerted many Canadians to the seriousness of the Quebec independence movement. Number two, most Quebecers did not agree with using violence, but recognized that Quebec was controlled too much by the English. And finally, number three, many questioned whether using the War Measures Act was too extreme.